If you're wondering how to ditch the stuck feeling for good, then you're going to want to listen to this episode. And I'm going to let you know that this episode is something that I went live for in my Dynamic Women community. And I was going to, you know, edit it up and remove my comments to some of the members. And I thought, no, this episode is going to be as is. It's a longer episode, but I get to interact with some of the members by reading their comments that they say around what they're stuck in. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, lovely dynamic women, and welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. I am Diane Rolston, your host, and today we're talking about ditching the stuck feeling for good. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? Uh, hi. Today, I'm coming to you live to talk about ditching the stuck feeling for good. And so now is the time for you to tell me you're here. Put some comments in. Actually, I'm going to go bigger on my screen and so I can see things a little bit better. Um, funny thing is it's making you guys, me really, really big and I don't want it really big. There we go. Now I got my comments. Okay. So hi everyone. Welcome. Uh, if we haven't met yet, I'm Dime Rolston and I host this community. And just so you know, a little backstory. I started the Dynamic Women community back in 2013. Um, and this was to meet the need of me for not just surface level networking, for a deeper connection with other women in business. Also, I started the group because I noticed that some of my clients were being looked over for their profession uh, because other people were treating them like a sale uh, or treating them as less than. And I also started this because it's like at, over the age of maybe 30, like how do you make friends? <laughs> how do you make friends now? And it's kind of weird because you often will try to make friends with people in business, but maybe you seem too forward and it's uncomfortable. So there were so many reasons why I started this community. Uh, we started as a live event community. I was running it in eight different cities, uh, eight different locations every single month. And now we, because of COVID and a bunch of other reasons, we are online. Um, so today I'm going to talk about ditching that stuck feeling. If you're with me, put a comment in the chat, say hello. If you're watching the replay, please put replay. Let me share a little bit about what I'm going to cover. So it feels, let me try again. <laughs> it sucks really bad when you feel stuck. Like you can't get out of the muck, right? Maybe you felt like that and there's no right turn showing itself, but you want to make the progress. So why are you sabotaging yourself? So in this, I am going to share a little bit with you about what has worked for me to get into action and to find the motivation to ditch the stuck feeling for good. And I'll let you know, this is a work in progress. And I'm not giving you a one solution fits all. I'm going to talk through kind of some of the processes I go through in order to be able to not be stuck when I'm stuck. And I've had times where I've been like crazy stuck for like months, years stuck feeling. And then I've had other times where I'm just like stuck for 10 minutes. So I'm going to what I'm going to share with you can be used in any of these situations, in any length of time and in any of the areas of life. And I do this action of a, like a, a, a circle because it's the wheel of life in the 10 areas of life. Please let me know. What is it that you hope to get out of this discussion today? I'm going to say discussion rather than just me talking at you. I've got a few talking points uh, around being stuck from a couple of the members in the community and would love to have your input as well. Hi, Paula. Glad you're looking forward to this discussion. Let me know what you're hoping to get out of it and where you feel stuck. Any of you uh, listening later, please feel free to still comment and I will comment back. So the stuck feeling. Let's start off with like, what is it to feel stuck and how do you know when you're stuck so if we are trying to go and do something if we're trying to make something happen in our business or our lives maybe it's a big goal we've had maybe it's around uh losing weight 
around writing a book, launching a program, uh, starting to date again, whatever it may be, you could feel that place of like, I'm not moving forward. And it's horrible. And I'll tell you, the longer you stay in that feeling of not moving forward, it is going to start to completely erode your confidence. It's going to have you doubt yourself more. Limiting beliefs are going to come in. So you have to switch yourself out of feeling stuck. You have to. So I'm glad that you're listening to this today so that you can come up with a solution. And as I said, this is not a one size fits all solution. Um, sorry, I'm going to give you a one size fits all in one regard, but it has to be customized to you. I, as a certified life coach, am the asker of questions, powerful questions. So I'm going to ask you questions today as well. But if you still feel like this is not enough, I really encourage you to reach out to me. I know that for me, I can't just get unstuck a lot of times by myself, even though I'm using my own practices that I use on my clients, because it's in the in the conversation with someone else, especially a trained professional, to help move me forward is what has really helped the most. Good afternoon, Sandra. You feel stuck. Please let me know where you feel stuck so that I can uh, best support you and everyone else. Okay, so you're feeling stuck. You're not making progress. You're not moving forward. You maybe feel like the right solution isn't presenting itself or I don't know what the next step is or you might be asking yourself why am I sabotaging myself why am I not moving forward why am I not doing the things I know I need to do I've, I've spoken before in episodes previously that I've talked about how it took me forever to be able to start my health journey now that in my case was I didn't have the right motivation. And so maybe you're stuck because you don't have the right motivation. So the motivation being, I am gonna get healthy so I look good. Honestly, I kind of care about looking good, but it wasn't happening. <laughs> it wasn't happening for that reason. Uh, I wanna lose weight because it's important to my health. I knew that that was true, not motivating me. I want to get healthier and lose weight so that I can fit into my clothes. Well, I wanted that, but I just kept buying bigger clothes. So I was looking for the right motivation to get unstuck. And even seeing photos of myself wasn't the piece that pushed me. When I looked at photos and I went, oh my goodness, I do not like how I look. That still wasn't the right motivation. So I was stuck in all of these places because I hadn't done enough deep work to figure out what my motivation was. Now the universe gave it to me by injuring my knee and then talking to an orthopedic surgeon about my knee. And really the only thing that we could do is strengthen around the knee and lose weight. And I really shouldn't be playing soccer. So that was enough motivation for me to go from feeling stuck and honestly, at that point, feeling kind of hopeless, could I ever lose this weight? Like I'm so far gone, I felt. Could I ever lose the weight to be able, could I ever get motivated enough to be able to lose the weight? And in the end, we know I have been doing it, but the motivation was being able to get back on the soccer field, healing my knee enough or having a less pressure on my knee so that it could be good enough to be able to play. So ask yourself right now, for what you're wanting, what is your motivation for going there? Maybe you haven't found the right motivation. This can also be coming in the way of like, what is your why on this, this thing that you're wanting? So the why for achieving what you want to achieve, the why for getting back into dating, the why for writing the book. When we tap into that deeper why, that creates the motivation that gets us into action. Now that's not often enough. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about finding the reason why you're stuck, the questions you can ask yourself, and then also I'm going to go into what I call the how can I approach. And this is something that I coined because I was trying to figure out how I was able to kind of get over adversity. Let me check in though with what you're writing. 
Sandra says in getting clients and so she's stuck in getting clients and marketing to get more clients. I'm happiest when I'm in the zone and helping others. And Paula says, I've had to back up from my dissertation direction I was crafting. I am now reimagining, but I'm now questioning myself constantly, so much so that I'm stuck in an endless cycle of questioning. Yes, I totally get it. I totally get it. And this is where I was mentioning about it eroding your confidence. Okay, so I've got these two examples. I've got an example from Lisa and Lillian uh from the group as well which is really amazing and the group being the the dynamic women online facebook group so let me go into the reason why you're stuck and then i'll link back to these four people's examples and just see kind of what's what's coming up here so the one thing i do is i ask myself what am i stuck on what is causing me to be stuck here so i'm going to give an example of writing a book, writing my very first book, Dynamic You, which is the nine pillars of a, of a dynamic woman. Why was I stuck on it? I was just not writing it. So here are some things to ask yourself. Am I stuck on this thing because I don't have enough information? Meaning maybe I don't know how to write a book or I don't know what I'm going to write about. I don't know if I should self publish. I don't know if I should go through a publishing company. So I don't have enough information to move on this. So when I look at Lillian's feeling stuck on launching something new, so this is maybe a new program, a new offering. So asking herself, do I have enough information to know how to launch it, to know what I'm launching, to know the best marketing strategy for doing it, to know if my audience will actually buy it. So is there some information I need there? Lisa says that she um, she feels stuck about reinventing herself. So again, it's like, is there not enough information? And I'm actually going to save this one for an, another of the things. The next thing to ask yourself is, is this the right decision? Right? Maybe we'll go into Paula's here, reimagining um, what she's going to do for her dissertation. So, you know, she went this route and thought, ah. Oh, that doesn't feel like the right decision. And so now she's going this route. And is this the right decision? I don't know. And so we can feel stuck because the right decision hasn't presented itself. And I'll tell you, I have been in that place of stuckness or had been, had been in that place of stuckness for years. And every time I think I gained some traction, I'd have life hit me with something major, uh, which caused me to, to have to pause. Like my father dying, had to pause my Facebook account being disabled, I had to pause. Uh, my kids being at home from school because of COVID, had to pause things. Uh, my business having to go from live events, live trainings, live coaching, masterminds to online, I had to pause, right? And so this whole, is this the right decision? Ch just check in with yourself and ask yourself, is this the right decision that I'm making? I'm gonna do my dissertation on this topic. Is this the right decision? And if you're like 80% there, you just got to make the next step happen. If you are really, really doubting it, the, the only way you're going to know is to make the next step or to take a further step back, get some support to actually talk it through so that you can see all options because maybe your blinders are on or to have someone else say what they see in you. Because like the Les Brown quote, when you're in the picture, when you're in the frame, you can't see the picture, right? And so many times I have been like, I don't know what the answer is. I'm looking for it. I can't find it. What is it? And a coach has said to me, isn't it this? Isn't it this thing right in front of you? And I've gone, ah, you're right. It totally is. And having someone else say that in me has been so helpful, really helpful. So you either don't have enough information you don't know if it's the right decision. The next one is you don't have enough confidence. Like, well, I don't know if I can maybe market myself to clients because I don't know if I'm good at it, and good at it enough. Or it might be I, I'm feeling not so confident in what I'm offering. So check in with how much confidence is there and maybe where it's lacking, you might need to have a little bolster, a little boost. And when I go into the next section of talking about, I'm going to talk about how you can get more confidence to do it. The fourth thing might be other people disagreeing. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to Lisa's when she said, each time I think I find a rhythm, life throws me another in a different direction. Time availability, availability changes and I have to rethink things. Makes me feel stuck thinking about reinventing again, right? And maybe as she even reinvents herself, she has someone else say, mm, are you sure about that? And it's really funny because even though I have already lost 35 pounds, there are still other people that are trying to tell me what I should do. Oh, you should, you should do keto. Oh, you should cut these things out. Oh, you should fast longer. Oh, you should exercise more. It's like, wait a second. I've done this for five months. I've followed a coach. I'm getting crazy good results. Yet people are trying to like get me stuck. Now, thankfully, I have enough traction that other people disagreeing or giving me other ideas, I'm just like, whatever, not, not interested, right? Um, so check in on those things. What makes you stuck, right? Even just looking at what um, Sandra has said, she's stuck getting clients and marketing to get more clients. I feel like that could be a confidence thing. That could also be a not enough information to know if you're doing the right steps. Maybe you don't have a plan. So it might be helpful. Uh, and I'm jumping into the next section because I'm going into coaching mode. And so I'm going to stop myself for a sec. And if I don't answer this, please tell me. Um, I'll come back to it. But she then said, I'm happiest when I'm in the zone and helping others. Okay. Yeah. You're in your zone of genius when you're doing the work. And the thing about being a business owner is... We have all of these other positions we have to hold, right? I love coming on here. I love speaking to you. I love sharing this. This is my zone of genius. Me sitting behind a computer and writing a book, not what I want to be doing. So I'm going to talk through my example of writing a book and how I felt stuck. I gave already this the example of my health journey and how I was stuck for a long time and I got, eventually got the right information. So the right motivation for me. Um, but let me talk about writing a book now. I was stuck in writing a book. You know why? My perception of writing a book was I need to sit behind a computer and I need to just type by myself and write. So not enough information. I didn't know there were other ways to do a book. Am I making the right decision? I knew I was making the right decision to write a book, but there is nothing like connected to it really. So I didn't, didn't fully have the right motivation either. Did I have enough confidence writing a book? Not really, because I don't feel like I'm an amazing writer. I don't enjoy writing. Uh, I've never had, it's funny, English was my worst subject, yet I majored in English in university as one of my majors. I did a double major. Um, and then other people disagreeing. Other people weren't disagreeing I needed to write the book, but a lot of people were telling me that writing a book is really hard, right? It's not. You just need the right strategy in place. So I didn't know the strategies to write a book. I didn't know the ease of writing a book. So you know what eventually unstuck me, which is really funny? <laughs> a deadline. A deadline. I needed a deadline. And so sometimes that's just the way to get you unstuck is just make a freaking deadline for it. And so my deadline was kind of imposed on me. I was speaking on the phone with some people uh, at a women's conference in Washington state that wanted to bring me down to open and close a big conference for women. And uh, I was jazzed. They're going to pay me my full fee, fly me in a couple nights hotel, all this amazing stuff. And then uh, I realized at the time I didn't have a, I didn't have a visa to work in the States. And so I wasn't allowed really to go and speak. And there was a chance I could get turned away at the border. And so in the last second, I said, oh, okay, well, um, actually, I have a different idea. How about we, how about we do this where you buy like enough copies of my book for everyone in the audience. We'll have that Oprah moment. You get a book and you get a book and you get a book. And then uh, at that point, um, you know, I'll just come and I'll speak for free. And they were like floor. Oh my gosh, that's so generous of you. Are you sure we can pay your fee and buy the books? I'm like, no, 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 let me do this for you. So I get off the phone. Oh no, they said, uh, get, just give us the link and we'll go and buy them today. And I said, oh, I'm just re-editing it, getting you know some things cleaned up. I'll let you know when the link is live. Hung up the phone, called my friend and said, well, I guess I have to write my book now. 
And so that there's a bigger, bigger version of that story, but that's the Coles Notes version. And I'm telling you this because the deadline forced me to write the book. So for Lillian, who's feeling stuck on launching something new, you just got to put it out there and put a date on when it's happening. And as soon as somebody puts money out for it, oh, you got to do it. And so in my case, I knew I had to have that book in like 90 days at that hotel for that big event. And the first time I saw the book was when I opened the box in my hotel room, <laughs> uh, like the night before I spoke, but it got the job done. And I'll tell you, I realized I had to go into my next approach. How can I approach? So a lot of people go, here's my obstacle. Here's my problem. Here's why I'm stuck. Ho-hum is me. But I've been in this place of how can I? Okay, I need to have a book in their hands in 90 days. How can I do this? So I don't have enough info. How am I going to write this? I don't want to write this. How else can I? How else could I write this book? And so I made an outline and I put it into more of a program format. I then emailed my, just put out an email to the list. Hey, I'm doing this, this program called Dynamic You. You're going to learn how to unleash your dynamic woman through the nine pillars of being a dynamic woman. It's going to be a five week course. Who wants in? Here's the investment. I had like 25 women say they wanted to be in which is really exciting. And now I had to have the content ready for them. So I changed my approach from, oh, I got to write a book to I'm going to speak and teach the material that then gets transcribed into a book. Every time I tell this story, and again, I tell the story more fully, you're getting the Coles Notes version. Every time I tell this story, people go, wow, I never thought of that. But it was in one of those moments of feeling stuck, but knowing I had to perform that caused me to open up my thinking. Thank goodness I had Michelle to support me in making this happen. Otherwise, I think it would have been too much. So the what information do I need, right? So I looked at those problems. I don't have enough information. Well, what information do I need? I need to know how long a book needs to be. I need to know how, when do I have to have it in so that I can get the copies delivered on time. I needed to know how to format a book. I needed to know the template. Um, so I needed all of these questions answered. So if your problem for feeling, feeling stuck is you don't have enough information, then you need to ask yourself, what do I need to know? How can I figure that out? How can I have someone else teach me or give me strategy or coach me to do that? If the problem is, it's I don't know if it's the right decision. Well, how can you know if it's the right decision? Who can help you to get that information? What can help you to know if it's the right decision? If you don't know if you have the right motivation, well, how can you know what's the right motivation? How can you figure it, that out? Who can help you to figure that out? If you don't have enough confidence, how can you build the confidence to do it? There have been some stuff in my life where I was like terrified, um, like calling one of my major coaches who like makes multiple millions, billions of dollars, whatever, calling him and proposing a collaboration to him. My goodness, this was like weeks ago and I told people I would do it so that I could actually make it happen. So it comes down to, Sandra says, and I've mentioned earlier, a deadline helps hold us accountable. Yeah, you like putting a deadline on things. But first you gotta figure out why are you stuck? What is the reason? Then go into that, how can I? Okay, now that I have that, that I know that that's the issue. How can I? So the questions of what could help you, who could help you, what do you need? And at the end of the day, really, it's all around what do you want? What do you want? And how can you get unstuck? It's not just about sitting in the stuckness. It's about following, figuring out the solution to get out of the stuckness. And if it feels so heavy and it feels so hard, like you are really stuck in the muck. With my health journey, I felt stuck in the muck. I actually felt hopeless. I thought I'm never going to be able to get myself out of this. I don't have the willpower. I know what I need to do. I just don't have the motivation to do it. I don't have the emotional bandwidth to do it. I don't want to figure it out. I need to be told what to do. 
And so I, I put my money into it. I invested to make it happen. So that might be what you need. I, I have one of my coaches, I just joined her mastermind so that I could hear her like extreme confidence and ego sometimes <laughs> because I feel like I'm very heart centered and I put people's feelings first and sometimes boundaries can get blurred. And I, I was like, okay, how can I not do that anymore? How can I not have my heartstrings pulled so much that I, that I bend too much for people? And so I, I thought, who do I know who can help me with this? And it's just me, me being in the energy of this person. This person is like definitely, definitely like a no BS, um, doesn't like her feelings are first, her wants are first. And so I'm not going to go maybe that extreme, but it helps me to move forward. So I'm going to open it up now to what you have to say, what you want to share. Um, Sandra says, I do not have a lack of confidence or motivation. I really think I need someone to help me with the marketing piece. There you go. When I felt stuck in my business and I just wasn't moving on something, even though I knew like, oh, I could probably figure this out or I have a team and someone could do this. I just didn't want to be the one to like oversee it. So yeah, I, I invested, I invested like at one point I invested like five grand just to have someone build out like a Facebook ad to a landing page to an email sequence. I know how to do all of that. I have done all of those things, but for some reason I just wasn't doing it. I just wanted someone to take me by the hand and lead me because I just at that time didn't have the mental capacity to handle another thing. And that's okay. If you feel like I just, I'm not doing it, I'm just not making it happen. Okay, how can you? Maybe you have someone that actually just does it for you or someone that holds your hand to do it. I know when my first learned marketing, uh, sorry, Facebook ads, I hired someone, I took their course, I was learning how to do it. Then I thought, oh no, I need more support. So I hired her and her laser sessions so that I could get on with her and ask specific questions because I realized I was stuck because I was unsure if it was the right decision on each little thing. Like, is this the right audience? Is this how I click this button here? So I wanted to be able to just run that by someone. And then I realized I'm getting the information from her, but I'm just, I don't have the time to actually put it into place. And then I said to her, hey, I think I think I need just to hire you to do this. And she laughed and she said, I was waiting and wondering when, when are you gonna ask for this type of help? Because I see how much you have going on that this is like, you know, my learning curve was so big. Um, so it was really, it was quite a funny journey that I had to go on to be like, I'm going to learn this, then I'm going to get some extra support. And eventually I'm just like, you know what, you just do it. And now that I have my two VAs, I've been very blessed to be able to have them just do it. What do you want for your IG bio? I don't know. Can you just, can you just do it? What are we, what kind of images are we wanting to market this event? I don't know. Can, can you just make that decision? You know, what do you want the carousels to be like? What do you want? I'm like, I don't just decide. You, do you decide? So sometimes we're just in that decision fatigue. But I'll tell you when you're stuck and you realize what is making you stuck or you have help to realize what's making you stuck and then you jump into that. Okay, if I'm stuck for that reason, how can I move out of this? As soon as you find the how can I, you're going to get a little like, oh, oh, I could. Oh, this is, this is what I could do. But then you have to seal the deal by making a decision. You have to say, yes, I'm going to, in my case with my health journey, yes, I'm going to hire that coach to help me. Or yes, I'm going to start doing, send that email so that I can get people into this course, the Dynamic U course to help me write the book. Yes, I'm going to hire an editor to help me with that book. As soon as you make a decision and take that first action you know the joy of this part it builds your confidence and the confidence causes you to act again and again and again and i'll tell you, you you might get stuck again but you just go back to these steps in order to move you forward so welcome jackie you just got here no problem you can always go back and watch 
the reason why I also wanted to talk about this topic and please add add more in here because I'm going to jump off very soon and I want to be able to speak to whatever you have uh, to speak to that you want me to speak to any questions, any comments. Uh, great time now also to put your takeaways of this into the chat. Really appreciate that because uh, it's much easier for me to speak to it than to have to write about it afterwards as a response. You're going to get more out of me this way. And if you are watching the replay, don't worry, still write your stuff in and I'll still reply. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, why I wanted to write about this stuck topic. I am seeing this in so many clients mm -hmm. right now. I am hearing it when I go and do speaking engagements. I'm hearing it from the audience. I am learning about it from neighbors and friends and teammates for soccer. And there is a lot of stuckness right now. And I feel like we're not flipping out of feeling stuck because we've kind of spiraled down and almost like kind of like corkscrewed our way in so deep that it feels really heavy to come out of it. It feels hard. Like we have to like dig, like dig ourselves out and that that feeling of like, I just don't know what to do or I just can't do it and why am I not doing it, it digs us even deeper. And I wanted to be able to free more people from that stuck feeling. So let's look at the final examples. The world feels a little stuck right now. Jackie says, I, I agree. The world does feel stuck. Uh, especially with all the negativity that's happening, all the atrocities and tra tragic events uh, that are happening in the world, that it feels heavy. It feels really heavy. Um, Sandra says, great reminder that getting stuck is not failure, but rather it is falling forward or failing forward. I think it's more falling forward. Um, I need to use the red, yellow, green light thinking. Thank you for sharing. I always enjoy being in your midst. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, I don't want people to feel stuck. So let's look at the different examples again. So Lillian's feeling stuck on launching something new. So Lillian, first just figure out what the stuckness is and it's going to help you to move forward. Um, Lisa, for you, I would recommend because you said if you feel stuck thinking about reinventing again. So if you haven't reinvented in the past, look back and ask yourself what happened, uh, what helped me last time to make this happen easily. For uh, Sandra, yeah, we already said, like probably hiring someone to help you with the marketing or let's go with the marketing strategy that you know and that has worked for you in the past. Right? Uh you know, because maybe something like a Facebook ads is too much of a big learning journey. Maybe you going and speaking on a podcast would be helpful because you love to be in the zone helping others, right? And Paula, with your dissertation, uh, you are a thinker. So sit with it, sit with it until the point of just then you have to take action, make a choice. And sometimes the action that you take can be with the little like fine print that says, uh, I'm going to try this out for right now until it doesn't feel good anymore. So a season. And so you might try a certain healthy way for a specific season. You might try a marketing strategy for a certain season. You might launch that one something new for a season. In the reinventing yourself again, you might choose one thing to do in the reinvention. One thing. Choose the one thing to do. Jackie says, my health is making me feel a little stuck. Uh-huh. Because you're probably focusing on it. Your attention is on it. And so, yes, we need, you know, when my knee was injured or if we get a diagnosis or something else is happening to us that's like in our face, I get that it can be all-consuming. And... We need to consciously move away from it and put our focus and attention on something else. I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole when I when um, the whole Hamas 
tragedy on October 7th happened and I was like focusing on it and focusing on it and looking at things and I went down a bit of a rabbit hole and I had to pull myself out and I had to focus on the things that mattered most to me and the things that brought me joy. So going for walks, hanging out with friends, maybe it's baking right? It's the fill your life with the things that bring you joy when something else is feeling heavy so that we can start to pull ourselves out. We might not be able to solve the stuckness, solve the problem, but what we can do is offset some of that, right? So when we look at the wheel of life, some areas might be low and we can't fix it. Like we maybe can't make our, um, our closeness in our marriage any better right now because maybe our partner is away uh, for six months in another location. We can't get there. We can't see them. So it's really hard, right? And so we go, okay, for right now, I can't move that up. But can I get my closeness with my friends right now or with my other family? And so we can look at the other areas to pull ourselves up. So if you're stuck, don't keep yourself stuck in that place. I'm going to look at some of the other comments and then um, we'll wrap up. Would love it if you in the in the comments can also say what's your biggest takeaway from this? Because I value your time. And if you value your time, then putting in there like the thing that you're going to take away and actually apply will actually make the time a wonderful investment. Kathy says, lots of ways I've been stuck lately. I feel it lifting, but challenged last week with two separate events, working now to not get, uh, to not getting unstuck. Okay, you wanna get unstuck now, good, amazing. Uh, Paula's takeaway, good advice, sit with the questions, not in the questioning, yes, because that is a loop. That is a hamster wheel that just continues on, but if you look for what is the exit out of that, that's most important. Good. And Jackie says, oh yes, I was like that with the Ukraine invasion. <laughs> Fill your life with joyous stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. And sometimes it means turning off the things when you're, if you're stuck and there's things in your life that are causing more negativity, maybe there's certain people in your life, certain situations in your life. Maybe you have to turn the volume down on those things a little bit. Maybe turn your attention away, ask yourself what fills you up and then go do more of that. If what fills you up is crafting or it is hiking or it is sitting around the campfire with friends, do more of the joyful stuff so that you can be in that place of feeling good, which will give you energy to be able to handle the places you feel stuck. Okay. Uh, if you were inspired by me writing about or talking about writing my book, I want to remind you that we are in the final stages here. If you want to come in the Trailblazer Secrets book, like now is the time. Now is the time for sure. We are in the editing stage, but we can still slip you in, sneak you in until Sunday night. There is a a draw happening until, so this, the date of that is the Sunday the 5th and then the 6th we're going to be announcing the winner of that so please uh, do the raffle the link will be is in the Facebook community you should be able to find that uh, and go and do that and uh, if you don't win or even better why don't you just tell me you want to be in the book come and be an author share your story you're not going to feel stuck at all because I walk you through the whole process. Super simple. We edit it ourselves. We publish it ourselves. We format it. We do everything for you. We market it for you. We do everything for you. You just need to, you know, write a few words and be excited about being in a book. There you go. And you'll be published in 2023. I'll tell you, if you want to feel unstuck in your business, in your confidence, in launching your things like your products your courses whatever your services I tell you having a book whoo that's like a rocket ship of motivation i'm going to tell you that right now and a really great in with um with potential clients so i'll wrap up by saying some of the takeaways here 
Kathy says, uh, focus on what is good and then plan forward. Potentially changing travel home due to the crisis in Maine upset me. Ended up with no delay, but it still feels impacted by the volume of these things happening everywhere. Uh huh. Take care of your energy, though. Uh, Lisa, circumstances with my mom have me feeling stuck. I think we may even, maybe even depression. Yeah. I get yeah on that. And when we downward spiral for so long, and I'm not saying you chose to downward spiral. I'm saying that that can happen so easily. And that's why it is imperative that you get unstuck in whatever it would be, any way it would be. Okay. Um, so I'm glad that you came on this today, Lisa. Uh, you'd say I'd be in the book. Yeah, I saw that you entered the draw. Congratulations. And if you want to just seal the deal, and if you end up winning, I'll refund you. But if you want to just seal the deal, let's make it happen. Um, that'll be really fun. And Carol says, thanks, Diane. Great content. You're very welcome. Much, much appreciated. If you have other topics you hope I would cover, I would love for me to cover, please pop them in here as well. I'm always open to it. I don't always know exactly what you're wanting to know about. Um, and I only plan to come in here like 20 minutes. But because you wonderful viewers here with me right now have come in, it caused me to say more and to like feel you and want to, to share more. Um, so thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Uh, Paul says, thank you, Diane. Great content. Um, you are welcome. I'm glad that you got something out of it. Uh, and, you know, as always, if you ever feel like I can, I can support you uh, to point out that thing that's right in front of you or to help you work through things, it's not weak to get help. It is smart to get help. And even if you think like, I know what to do, but you're not doing it, you're not implementing, you're not moving forward. Uh, just like how I hired a coach for my health journey and I hire coaches for different parts of my life um, would be would be honored to serve you and work with you. Uh, look forward to seeing some of you uh, on the next live uh, if you if you can and uh, just take care take care of yourselves and I'll tell you this too I'm a strong confident person and you probably have strong confident people in your life and you could be one of them too a type driven successful check in on them right they could be stuck on something and you would never know because they are suffering in silence. And um, it's and not until, because they're carrying everyone and everything in their lives. And it is so appreciated when other people ask them and when other people have asked me like, how are you doing and how are things and how is that? And when people really see you and support you in that way. so. Reach out to that person in your life that maybe you've been feeling like you should reach out to just to be like, hey, think about you. How you doing? And um, and know that that could be the world of a difference to them. Thank you for listening to the Dynamic Women podcast. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different episode of me going live in the Dynamic Women online community. If you're not a part of it yet, make sure you go to the show notes so that you can join for free. And then you can be part of my next live when I go in there. Have any ideas on what you'd like me to cover? Any questions or comments? Please send me a direct email, diane at dianerolson.com. And make sure you hit subscribe. Share with a friend and write us a review. If you haven't written us a review, cool thing is when you do and you send a screenshot of your review to team at dianerolson.com with your mailing address, I'll send you a little something special in the mail. Until next time, everyone, stay dynamic. Bye.